Hey everyone, God bless you. Thank you for joining me in another video. We have another interesting topic here and that is that of how to remove or removing spiritual and energy blocks from your life. Now, before we jump into this topic, become a YouTube subscriber to my channel. Also share, like, drop a comment. Thank you for all of your support. Now let's get into this topic of how to remove these blocks in our lives, how to remove these blocks in our lives. Now, um, it's important for us to be, a, to, be, to be able to identify the things in our lives that's holding us back, um, to be able to identify when there's a problem that you can't quite put your finger on. And uh, when we have a block in our life that is spiritual, uh, that is an energy block, you can't see it. <laughs> you cannot see it, but you can feel it and that you, you know it's there and you know that there's something holding you back. There's something that, that's putting you in a loop. There's something there that has you on this treadmill in life and you can't put your finger on it. And um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about um, a few things that you can do um, to help you in that if you find yourself in that situation and you know you're in that situation when you are trying to grow and move forward and nothing you're doing is working and you're doing everything that you can do and it's just not working. You're working hard. Um, you're, you're, you're talking to the right people. Um, you're trying to put the right things into play. Um, you, you, you're trying to develop the right attitude and nothing is working out and, um, you're applying to jobs and you're, um, you're, you're just trying to get ahead and do certain things and it's just not working out and you're getting rejection and um, it, it feels like there's something going on behind the scenes that you can't put your finger on and you're failing and you don't know what's going on and you're doing everything possible. It's not like you're just sitting around waiting for stuff to just happen. You're going out there trying to make it happen for your life and it's just not working out. So if you're in a position where you have done and where you're doing everything that you can do and it's not working out, there could be a spiritual block there in your life or an energy block there in your life. Now I'm gonna talk about the differences there. All right, so the spiritual block comes in a form where um, there are entities <laughs> and there are um, things in the way the intangible things, things in the spirit realm that have constructed itself and it could come in a form of um, just evil, the evil that's in the world and or come in a form of even generational curses. I might do a video on that one, generational curses or things that um, have been passed down or certain patterns in your family that you find. Um, you could look at some families and some people and see a pattern of mental illness, a pattern of divorce, a pattern of, um, you know, just, just different uh, types of patterns that you see and um, different things, not just physical, but psychological that people deal with in the family. And it could be not in all cases, you know, it could be, um, you know, a generational curse or uh, something generational that has not been healed, a trauma there uh, within a family that has been passed down that has not been healed. And sometimes these things <laughs> through DNA, and they're actually doing studies, you know, epigenetic studies on these things now, um, things that are passed down, not just through uh, physically, but also um, emotionally and, you know, spiritually and metaphysically, things that are just passed down. and. Um, a block, a spiritual block can come in that form. A, a spiritual block can come come in a form just by being, just as a casualty of being a human being on a planet and dealing with not just good, but evil. There's evil in the world. So these things can form spiritual blocks that can, you know, potentially hold us back. And being in certain environments that, you know, um, trigger <laughs> evil and trigger these things can form a spiritual block and also spiritual blocks it can be inner right so there are inner things that we have not dealt with um that we create blocks and um it could be a spiritual block <laughs> that we've created within ourselves because we haven't healed in some area and um you know we may feel like okay because i haven't healed I, I don't think i can move further in this area or i don't think i can move on i don't think i'm enough to do a b c and d so sometimes the spiritual block can be uh inner um it could be 
things that we have created and things that we must um, bring down and take down and destroy and heal from. It could be things um, outside of us. Um, it could be things passed on through family patterns in history. It could be just things, just the evil in the world. So those are kind of like the spiritual blocks. Now the energy blocks, this is, this is interesting. So the energy blocks is more so environmental and with people. So, um, I have a whole video on that. Uh, check it out. Um, I did a bunch of videos, but check out. I, I did do, do a video about energy. So check out that energy video that I did. I forget the title. But anyway, check that video out. It's a good one. So the energy, the energy block can come from people because we all have energy and we emit a certain uh, energy out into the world. And um, also, if a person is toxic, and if you have one toxic person or if you're in an environment with a bunch of different toxic people, it can create an energy, right? And um, also if um, a person is jealous of you, if a person has an issue with you, they create a certain type of energy. And though that energy, if the, the energy comes from toxic people or a toxic environment or jealousy or um, things like that, things are, that, that are just negative, it can create a block so there could be things behind the scenes, people conspiring behind the scenes or just have a certain attitude that can create an energy and an environment where you work, where you live, where you are, that could be potentially holding you back and could be that intangible thing that you can't quite put your finger on that could be the hindrance in your life. So then there's the spiritual and then there's the, um, the energy, the energy block. So. The first thing, if you want to tear those things down in your life and if you want to remove the spiritual block, the energy block, you must first be able to identify what it is. Now, I have preached and taught in many vid videos that it, the importance of having a spiritual protocol, having some sort of spiritual routine that you go through on a daily basis to keep yourself strong and to keep yourself spiritually sensitive. So when we are in a place where we are continually tapping into our divine nature and not into um, our base <laughs> and lower selves or our lower frequency selves well, we're in where we have a consistent pattern of um, tapping and connecting to God what it does is that it it breaks down um, the hardness because when you're living in this life and you're living in this world it can pretty much it can harden your soul it could put a, it could put a callus on you especially if you're a person who has been through a lot in life it can make you hard it can make you harden and what what when, if you have some sort of routine and pattern and relationship with God on a daily basis and a connection with God on a daily basis and it doesn't have to be all day long it could be 10 or 15 minutes but you got to connect with God at some level it will make you spiritually sensitive and you it will make you able to be able to identify these intangible things that are behind the scenes that could be could potentially holding you back right but if you're not spiritually sensitive, when you don't have a protocol, when you don't have a pattern, you're not connecting with God and you're not tapping into your divine nature on a daily basis, these things could be happening to you. You could have a block and you could do everything you can in the physical realm to help yourself. And because you haven't dealt with what could be going on spiritually or with energy, um, you can have a problem and you could be stuck for a very long time. So what connection to God does it gives you discernment beyond what's happening uh, in the in, in you know in the material world we're not just you know physical being we're spiritual beings you know you know in these bodies right so that's just not the the uh, end all and be all to our existence just being in this physical body there's so many layers and so much more to us and so much that we have we all have to learn so um you if when you connect with God on a daily basis and you have some sort of spiritual protocol, if you don't develop one, um, I have a routine in the morning that I do. Some of you are not morning people. Do it at night. Do it midday. Whenever you can squeeze it in to make that connection, it will help you tremendously in your life. And what it will do is when you feel like you're stuck. And you, you connect with God and you be like, okay, God, what is going on? What's happening over here? God will tell you because you are in connection with God on a daily basis and you're able to hear 
from God. That's another video I have to make. Um, and you're able to hear from God and hear God's voice and know, okay, this is what's holding me back. So it's, the, the, I've been in situations where God has revealed to me that that intangible stuff, that's that block that was in my life. It Sometimes it was a particular person. Sometimes it was an environment that I was in. Uh, there was a time where I had to change jobs in order to be healthy and to move on. So it could be a situation like that. So, But you have to ha be in a spiritual position to be able to identify what th those intangible blocks are. And energy and spirit is not what you can see. <laughs> so you got to be in tune. Second, um, and these are spiritual treatments that I'm, I'm telling you about. So having that connection, second spiritual treatment. Uh, to tear those blocks down is to build yourself up, build yourself up. And that goes back to that routine, um, that, that connection, um, making sure that you, 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 you put in and you feed your soul and your spirit, edifying things and things that's going to build you up and things that's going to make you strong as you go out in the world. And as you pursue your goals and your dreams, you know, you, you just can't, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, bodybuilding or trying to get physically fit you know you, you have to put yourself uh through exercises and you have to put yourself through a routine and you, you have to be pretty regimented if you want to get the look that you want if you want to get the level of fitness that you want same thing spiritually you you, you have to build yourself up and um, through discipline of prayer, through discipline of reading Holy Scripture and reading the Bible, through the discipline of connecting with God, through the discipline of meditation. And as you build yourself up and as you're feeding yourself and as you're feeding your soul the right things, because on a daily basis, we're being bombarded and assaulted with things that are not good. And we have to protect ourselves and protect our energy. And if you are building and you always are in the process of building yourself up, you will be protected and you would have that shield. And then you will also be able to, once again, be able to identify those things and be able to, even as you're going through and as you're pushing through what's that block that's there and you can get through it, you'll be strong enough to push through it. Because sometimes we may encounter an energy block or a spiritual block that's strong. And I might take time and endurance to get through. You'll get through it, but it won't be overnight. It won't be instant. And you have to have the, the spiritual stamina and the inner stamina to be able to get through that thing um, that could be holding back your life and your progress in life. So you have to build yourself up just like people go to the gym to get strong, to get fit, to look good. You got to do your own discipline and have your own routine to make sure you're strong on the inside. So build yourself up. That's number two. And, you know, the next, the third treatment is the treatment of fasting and prayer. I talked about that earlier. And also you might need some help. So don't think that you are going through this or that you are um, going through life alone that, um, there are other people that can help you to tear down those blocks in your life. And when I'm in that situation, when I feel like there's something there kind of like holding me back, I go to my spiritual mentors, uh, my spiritual mothers and fathers and uh, the elders. I go to my friends uh, who know God and who are, have that connection and that discernment. And I solicit prayers. I'm like, hey, guys, I need help. <laughs> I need prayer. I'm going through. I feel like there's something there. I need you to pray for this specific things. And it has to be people that you trust and people that can get a prayer through. There are people that they'll say, yeah, I'll, you ask them for prayer. And they'll be like, yeah, I'll pray for you. But I, you want somebody who can get a prayer through and that has some power. It's always good to, you know, know somebody that, you know, can get a prayer through and, you know, make things happen for you spiritually. It's kind of like, you know, um, I was told in life by my dad, you know, in life, it's good to ha have a friend that's a doctor, a lawyer, and, you know, a, a pastor, you know. So you, you want to make sure that you have people that you have some sort of uh, spiritual support group, people that you can go through or a person or a mentor um, to help you when, you when you're experiencing these tough times and um, when, when you have uh, 
when you're going through things that you can't put your finger on and that um, there's a block there and that you, you're going to have to solicit help and make sure that you have your crew, your spiritual crew with you uh, to take help you take them walls down. And when you have, you know, there's one or more people praying there. God is also he's in the midst and um, you, you'll be able to get maybe get things done faster. Um, the more people you have praying on that situation, I am a witness to that soliciting prayers from people, how it has transformed my life and helped me get through um, some serious situations and bring down some spiritual and energy blocks um, and walls in my life. So solicit those prayers. And finally, you know, as you are giving this situation a spiritual treatment, you want to be patient in faith. So have faith that God is going to see you through and be patient and, and sometimes, you know, these things, as I stated earlier, it's not going to go away overnight. A lot of people, they say, well, I, I said a prayer and I did this for about a week and my situation hasn't changed and it's still there and I'm still in a loop. <laughs> I'm still not making progress. Sometimes we're going to have to have a little bit of patience and have faith that God God wants us to progress. God wants us to reach new levels. It's not his will that we that we perish and that we go through unnecessary changes in life. But sometimes we have to have endurance, patience, long suffering and able and be, to be able to get through um, the difficulties in life. So those were the things that I wanted to share with you in regards to moving spiritual and energy blocks in your life. I pray that it has been a blessing to you. So just a quick recap, identify those things through connection, a daily connection with God, build yourself up and give it a spiritual treatment through prayer, fasting, soliciting prayers from other others and group support spiritually. And, all, and also finally being patient and faith. You must be patient. God is there for you. He has your back. Don't worry. Um, don't be afraid whatever difficulty you're experiencing, because you may have a difficulty if you're watching this video, whatever you're experiencing right now, um, God is going to work it out. And I believe in faith for you and I'm praying for you. Once again, thank you for uh, joining me in another video. God bless you and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.